So today we're actually going to be talking about the beauty of body camera footage and how it actually showed that two cops were abusing their power once again by punching, attacking an unarmed male who was actually surrendering while he was also on the ground. Yes. Okay. Um, throughout this video, um, on the side, um, you will be seeing some of the video, um, not too, too graphic, but there are going to be some videos, uh, but there will be a bit of the video presented, but this is why we have body camera footage. Okay. Because at the end of the day, it's a lot of mess that is going on and we need to see it because we cannot just keep taking people's words saying, Oh, I'm good. I didn't do anything. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. Let's get into this story. Body camera footage shows cop punching unarmed black man who was in fact surrendering a Georgia police officer. And in the video um, that I watched, it was actually two okay, officers that actually got terminated, was fired after body camera footage showed him punching an unarmed black man who was not resisting arrest, okay? The officers, and we're going to get into it, we're talking about, I was tackled, one officer in particular was saying how he was tackled, body camera footage says, <clears throat> that was a lie, he was resisting arrest, body camera footage where's maury <laughs> that was a lie okay let's continue video shows the august 2023 encounter between now former officer nicholas maglagon and montavia smith near the six flags over georgia parking lot uh, police arrived at the scene following reports that people were pointing guns at each other near the amusement park in the body camera footage, officers can be seen approaching Smith as he was lying face down on the ground. One officer, who was later identified as Maglagon, pulled Smith up before pushing him back down to the ground and punching him several times. Other officers continued to restrain Smith forcefully. Okay, now, in the video, it did not show resisting of arrest. And also his claim, like I said, of being tackled was not valid. On cop police body cams, the issue involves what went down in the capture of a suspect last August. No, stand the ground. I can I mean, oh, please stop. Oh, I'm on the edge. Oh, Lee, I'm on the edge. Oh, Put your hands behind I'm your back. I'm on the edge. Put your hands behind your back. Okay, okay. Three, no cameras. Hey. So, would this then be pushing him back down, he's up, boom, pushing him down forcefully on the ground, and punching him several times? Would that be accurate, appropriate force? Mm -hmm. Let me know what you think down below. But let's see. Smith, this is the victim. He said, please stop. I'm underage. Please don't kill me. Okay? Because... We've seen plenty of stops where you could be a full-on law-abiding citizen, everything's good, everything's dandy, and you still get shot in the car with your kids in the back and your fiancé driving. You have other cases where you could just have a cigarette in your car and then you just somehow end up dead. And so many other ones. You got Skittles, you, you're you just walking in your own neighborhood, you got CDs, Okay, it's a whole bunch of other stuff that can go on. So this is why he's like, okay, y'all, okay. Uh, Smith asked the officers why they punched him, to which he responded, because you did not listen. Okay, so he's saying, the police officer is saying, this is acceptable use of force because you didn't listen to me. After the man apologized, an officer said, yeah, listen next time. Uh, Major Damon Ballard confirmed that Smith was trying to surrender as he was being beaten by police. Mm. An, an, sorry, an investigation was launched into the incident after a police supervisor discovered the beating on body camera footage last year. Okay. Malagon was terminated for via, and it was also another officer, like I mentioned for violating department policy with unreasonable use of force. So if your own department saying, yeah, man, 
uh, I mean, we tried to stick up for you, but ooh, I don't know. I I don't know, man. I'm sorry. You gotta go. I think you went wrong. Okay. A second officer, Noah Mack, this is the second one, was also fired for staying. The officers tackled Smith in an incident report, which an internal affairs commander said was not the case. So y'all just lying, using excessive force, and then you see what's going on. Okay. A grand jury is set to review the case to determine whether criminal charges will be filed against the police officers later this year. All right. And that's also the thing. Okay, you're using excessive force. That's the biggest thing, really, about all of this kind of stuff. is because you're not using the appropriate amount of force that one should be using in certain cases, okay? Like, for example, there are certain cases where, obviously, if it's, if you got a gun, if the person got a gun, you, you got to have a gun, okay? But there's all the certain cases where a person's unarmed and you come out with a gun, you're like, boom, and it's like, you couldn't have used like those um, rubber bullet. You couldn't have used a taser. You couldn't have, in my opinion, okay, I'm a UFC fan, okay? So I'm kind of like this. You can't go in, you know, get people trained up on, you know, MMA, jiu-jitsu, judo, particularly. You know, do some throws and stuff, you know, uh, because you see a lot of officers who can't. Um, I've seen, you know, plenty of body camera footage where you have some officers who they're like, oh, oof, child, I'm tired. Right, let me go and let me go. And it's like, wait, hold up. Excuse me. You got some other ones where they don't look like they could run and they can't run. Okay. You also have some other ones where they look weak and they are weak. Okay. So it's kind of like what's going on. Um, and, and that's the thing. I just feel like there needs to be kind of like a redo on training. It should be something, a reform, so that we're not having this consistent issue that we are seeing, you know, where they're like, okay, I got to go and pull out the gun. Or let me go and bring the, let me go ahead and bring the hands out. And it's like, yo, you couldn't have just subdued the person, put the cuffs on them and brought them up. It's two of y'all, three of y'all, aren't there? You really got to go and beat somebody up, push them, pick them up and slam them to the ground and start punching on them. Boom, 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 boom. You know, uh, I just... Maybe that's why you got fired. But let me know what you all think about said story down below.